We saw in the last tutorial how we could open up a sound file externally from Pure Data and bring it into a Pure Data patch and play it. But sometimes that's cumbersome. Uh, sometimes I'd like to just click on one interface item, one message box, and just to load the sound file and play it all in one go without the need for opening an open dialog box, which is awkward. So I'm going to take the patch that I did for the last tutorial and I'm going to alter it slightly. If we think that this open message box here, it takes the file name from the open panel uh, based on the file that I choose and brings it into this variable $1. What would happen if I just wrote in the file name if I knew what file name I wanted to use? The file name that I want to use is called duck01.wave. So I'm going to put my pure data into edit mode and instead of that $1, I'm going to replace it with that file name duck zero one dot w a v now if I remove this open panel along with the associated bank and let's see if by clicking this message box in run mode uh, it loads the file and plays it So that's a lot more straightforward and a lot quicker. The only difficulty is, is that it's a little bit more restrictive in that I have to know what the file name is and there's no choice involved. The actions that I did there to play the duck01.wav file still involved two clicks. I had to click on the open message box and then I also had to click on the one message box to make it play. I would like to reduce that down just to a single click. And so if we think that what happens is that I'm clicking on this open message box to send that uh, message duck01.wave into read sf object and then I'm clicking on the one message box after that to play it. I could actually do that all in one message box by putting in a comma in the message box. So let me see this. If I edit this, get rid of this message box with a one and edit the open message box, put in a comma that will cause a delay First of all, it will send in duck01.wave into the readSF object. It will pause, and then it will send in a 1, which is effectively the same as having two separate message boxes. So let's try that. I'll put it into run mode, and let's click. And so this opens up a lot of possibilities. I can have a series of different wave files all ready to be played and all of them can be played immediately just by a single click on one message box.